Hey everybody, it's me, your boy RJ. Today, we're changing one of these, and as you can see, we lost another tire with good tread. That's a nasty yards. Where do we get the puncture? It's pretty big, wherever it is. Was it a piece of glass on this one? I don't remember. Most important thing you can get, as you see, I got Revisher, a uh, electric impact. Will make your world so much easier instead of using an air compressor like I used to and sit and wait for it to fill up because look at that. We got that. Okay, I'll stay one well. Alright. For these lugs, we're gonna set them right here. This we're gonna put right back on. Uh, but actually we're not going back on, we're going on a different mower. We actually stole the tire off this mower. This is on my brand new one, but look. So we got a plug here, here it is. But it's at an angle and it went like through, so the plug wouldn't work and it just kept leaking. So that was the other one that was new that got a big cut. All right, so what we're using, the whole point of this video is, a little mini tire changer. This is the Harbor Freight Edition, it's like 50 bucks. Uh, we're gonna pull a link to one, it's like 80, right? If you, it's like 80 for the Amazon one, 67. 87. Something like that, so. If you just don't wanna drive to Harbor Freight, you ain't got one by you. You can hit up that Amazon link that I'm going to leave. That'll help me help you, but it won't help you because, like I said, it's like 40 bucks more. So, this one is last to me. What do you think? 10 years? Mm -hmm. At least 10 years I've had this and I just got a metal splinter somehow, y'all. Like a little wimpy. I'm going to cry. Good cry. Got it off here, off there, all the shavings. Um, the only thing that's annoying about this, I don't know why I'm doing this. This is, so this. this is the most annoying thing about this tool is that the bar is a good 12 inches. At least that's what I always say. Hmm, hmm, do you like, sure it is. Sure it is. Okay, take it apart, put this bad boy on here. And we are going to pop it, drop it, and lock it. We're gonna do it backwards, we're gonna drop it, lock it. And then pop it. Need some soap. Very important to assist you. Uh, going back on is not as bad when you're doing it. If you got a tire in there, it takes it real higher up. Put that on. Oh, you want to mount it to a board. If you can mount it to like a little pallet, it'll work even better. You got a little more base. The more base you have, the better life is. What? So Dougie Fresh said at least. Yeah. Rock him. No? No? Nobody knows. Oh, 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 base. And look at me, I can't put this in the hole. That's what she said too. All right, now you gotta let the air out because this boy's already flat. So what you wanna do is, you're gonna put a little soap. Not a little soap, a lot of soap. Sometimes you have water too to give it a little more, but it works fine with just the soap usually. Uh, right there and there, not right where you're putting the thing because it will uh, slip because of it. You put it on the one right where you're working. You can move it afterwards. And this is why you want it on like here. Like I said, you got the board. It helps you leverage while you're going down. Can you stand on that side for me, camera person? That's why a pallet would be a much better. You get a lot more leverage. And there you go. See that? Just the assistance from the camera operator for three seconds. Fixed it. We're going to take this over and flip it over. Be right back. So, like I said, get a good amount. Let it seep in there. As you can see there's a lot of grass built up, so I mean, it's sipped in there is easy. All right, and the glove is for this reason. And it helps push it down in there, okay? Grab this, get the levers. Now, the reason you need a mini tire changer is a regular tire changer can't get the right angle of leverage because the rims are so small. So, you do this. And you see, even this one can be a pain. do is take this and you want to move it down one notch Give you a little more push on it uh, where did it the same one or is it a different spot it's a different spot right right yeah. I, can't I think tell. it's the same spot you think so I i'm not sure though yeah how about there hard to see what i'm doing under here because one two three 
moving it around for different size tires helps you. You just got to find the best angle. I don't know why I can't see and figure out where to put it in the hole again. Yeah. Never had this problem before. Nah. That's not what she said. Okay, so I got a little longer one on there now. Get more leverage. The soap is kind of getting down in there now, so that's why I say the water sometimes helps make it seep. There it goes. Almost there, y'all. Turn a little bit. A little more over. That is not get less. take this off and we're going to use the bar you can use this what I like to do is use these two bars I have over here ready what I do is grab a bar stick it in like that If it's a warmer day, you can do this, but guess what? We can't choose the tires to go flat, so here we go. It actually did go flat when it was warm, but now the other time tomorrow broke, so fighting each other. <laughs> if it was warmer out, the tire would be more pliable. So, what I'm gonna do is do this, okay. Trying to come now, and then you got to get this guy in here on the other side, right next to it. See that? Let me get a little soap in there. Got it. Good lord, it's fighting me. I think it popped itself back on the rim. Yeah, yeah it did. on the bottom. There it goes. Yep, I got it. Okay. Uh, we're gonna flip it to the other side because there's less room to fight. I'm using my bigger one because it's cold out. Sometimes you gotta put a little more beef in there. Okay? So. Alright. There you go. You gotta do the same thing again. Sometimes it'll just come off. So I gotta do that. You can already tell. So. Lift the tire up. Grab onto that like that. It might, be, it might just do it on its own. Okay, push up on the tire for me from underneath. Like, grab a hand under it, would you? All right, we're just going to use both. That's why I use the both is you get leverage. And they push against each other. Yeah, get a good scissor motion going. Y'all gotta love that, right? Nothing like a good scissoring. Alright, so we got the tire off. Alright, so when I flipped it over so it's easier, I'm gonna show you why. See this is the fatter part of the rim? The shallower part of the rim is easier to pull up around, and then when you pull the other tire up, it only gets stuck here, whereas if you do the other side, it gets stuck that far down, so it makes it more work to pull it. So always make the thinner side up if you're having problems. Let's see if we can do this here. You need to soap I need, the... I need to step on there first. soap yes, the bottom of the I'm gonna tire. Soap. I'm gonna trying to stay with the soap. It's so wet and icky, slicey. Yeah, but it won't. You'll rip it if you don't. We forgot to buy new gloves. It's my only glove left, guys. Make sure you have gloves. Because what happens is that my hands are slippery. 
it makes this difficult. So what you want to do, you want to soap, not on the inside, soap here, so that it slips onto the rim better. Sometimes, it you know, smooth, and you can just manhandle it. Like I said, when it's warmer, I have less trouble. If not, what you're going to do is grab your thinner one. This is a Harbor Freight tool as well. It is the Pittsburgh 24 inch general purpose tire iron. I'll find the one that's on Amazon and link it to you as well. Um, what I found is go like this, grab this under there, and you get under like this, look, and you go. And then you push down after you have it propped a little, and it will force it over the ramp while you hold with your elbow. See, when you're having trouble, if you soak the back of this, it helps. It just slips. There's never enough lube, y'all. Never too much lube, but whatever. Okay, grab this here. Try to hold that in place. And then you just get a little bit of time. Can you push that tire down for me, camp person? Right here. There we go, look at that. See? A little assistance from the camp person and your life is that much easier. So. Watch your hand, watch your knee. Step back. Come on, come on. Some people do this with screwdrivers and stuff. They must be super mechanic forearms because I'm no slouch. Uh, and just ain't gonna happen with these. But I've seen people do them with like two screwdrivers and a mini pry bar, like a mini crowbar. And I'm like, dude, that guy must go to town on his lunch break. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I don't even use all the soap when they do that. I'm like, wow. They're crushing that. All right. Put it down as much as you can. It'd help if I had this on a pallet. I could get more of my force in there. All right. I gotta try to hold this. And while I do that, I need my camp person to use their knee if they can again. Oh, I lost it. I lost it. face like I almost did. Cambers and me. Can you do that? Knee knee. Yep. Got it? Sometimes you have to use two of these because of this part. If it starts flipping over the limb. Yep. There we go. We got it over. So see how we got it catching? You have to be very careful. You do a little spot at a time. Hold on. Hold on. Don't do anything. I got it. Watch yourself. You get a few more inches of it, you know. Sometimes you just gotta push it in there an inch you're at a time. No, I don't. Undoing what you're nope, on nope, the other nope, side. nope. It's there. It's further. You can see. Just it's very slow, especially when it's cold like this. You can tear the tire. So make sure you soap. Keep soaping this up. Make sure you soap that again. It kind of slips off in the time we're working. Okay. So now I can put my shoulder in it. Give it a little more. Let's see, I didn't get it quite enough yet. Okay. So slowly, 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 and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get far enough that it's gonna fight, 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 and then it's just gonna flip. Runs a fluke like this. Go like this. And then it slips out on its own sometimes too much. Like that. And there you go. Alright. Do it there, put your knee there. There we go. Tires on. Sometimes filling it on here works, but I'm gonna take it off because we'll see what happens. I should have put my boots on already if I have to use the lighter trick, which is fun. Full home tire. 
All right, everybody, so we're gonna hope, got this filled up. We're gonna hope we get lucky enough we can just do this. It does not look like we're gonna get that lucky. All right. You can put your leg right here. Oh, it is, it is, we're getting it. We ain't gotta do the plane. Kinda sucks for y'all though, but you can hit the pop still. So if you get it to air press or you want it at full power, uh, to get it to set the bead, if you don't have like 150 PSI, it has trouble setting the bead. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right, after you fill them, always double check. First thing you wanna go for, get some Windex. Check your valve stem. We're good to go. And you wanna go all around here. It's a new tire, you shouldn't have any leaks on the tire, so you should be good, but sometimes your rim's damaged and you don't know it. I was best to know it before. And, uh, yeah, like why are you using Windex? Because Windex super bubbles if there's a leak. And there's nothing. See how it looks like it's bubbling there? It'll be even more than that if there is a leak. Let me show you. There you go. It's falling. Watch, here's, here's what it does when, when there's a leak. See that? You will know you have a leak. Alright, so there we go. That is it. I'm gonna put this on the mower. What is that? Is that a plug in a brand new tire? Is that a plug in the new tire? I don't know. No, I don't know. It looks like it. I didn't think to look. Could it be a spot where the rubber didn't meet all the way? It looks like a plug. I didn't even look at that. That looks like a plug, unless somehow it got hot on the equipment we set it there or something, but it looks like they plugged this and melted this, and I didn't even look, but it could be a manufactured, like, defect. Uh, nope, it's got a leak. Does it? Yeah, they said it's a bad tire, Brandon. Look at that. Mm. Right? Is this the brand new tire? Or is this one of my old tires that uh, I put back to? Okay. So, everybody, somehow, this isn't one of my brand new tires. Remember I told you I had a brand new tire that got flattened other than that one? You saw the tread was that we good? This is my other tire that got it. And I gotta go in here and find my other new one. Unless I've already changed them all because they keep getting flats because people are nasty to crap in their yard. Um, this is lightly leaking out of that spot. So this may be, it's leaking, see it? Yeah. This may be one I plugged already. If not, I got it. But either way, um, y'all got a video. <laughs> I ain't got a new tire on there, so I got enough that I can do the oil change and stuff I need to do. And I'm gonna switch that tire over and we're gonna buy another tire for the other mower. So, fun, fun, because we blew up the engine on the 52 the other day. So now we gotta get that 48 going and working. So we got two mowers running. Well, I hope you liked the video. I just wasted 30 minutes of my life. <laughs> but it is holding air better than that was. So, yeah, then we'll have a plug in the side and it wasn't stopping at all. So, yeah, fun, fun. Hope you liked it. Hope you don't have this problem. Maybe I kept this round thinking I could use it and it wouldn't leak, and it is leaking. I thought I could replug it, I don't know, because I've done that sometimes, stuck them around as a backup, and didn't throw it out, and that's what happened. But I could've swore I had another spare. I'm gonna go look for it. Hope that's it. Hope you liked it. Me wasting my time. I'm gonna get a good laugh, because I'm laughing inside, inside. <sighs> Alright, that's it. Hope you liked it. Like I said, please like and subscribe. If a little bit helps during these times, I'll buy another $80 tire because, you know, you know, all the people. And, uh, everything costs a million dollars now. So, yeah, there we go. Seize the day, each and every day. Oh, as always, I'm RJ. Seize the day, each and every day. Yeah, I forgot what I'm doing. Bye. <laughs>